Yo, what's going on guys? Today I got another video for you. Today I got my rig that I'm starting to set up and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Uh, it's going to be obviously multiple GPUs right now. I only have a 2070 on it. And I'll show you it in a second. I plan on expanding this to a bunch of 20 series cards and I do have a 1660 Ti. I'm going to put it in a 1070, but eventually I'll upgrade them to either 20 or 30 series cards. But right now I think I have about five GPUs. I'm going to get onto this rig. It's currently on Windows, so we'll remote into it. I'll do some overclock and we'll benchmark this 2070 Super that I have on it. But you know, before that, I got a little shout out I want to do. And uh, shout out to Thomas McCoy for getting two white 3060s. I got a celebratory beer for you. You know, it was a hard kombucha. You know, congratulations on getting your two white 3060s up and mining. Great job. I'm glad I could help. But let's go ahead and we'll get into the video and I'll show you guys the rig. Alright, so here we are. We remoted into the desktop. And all I did was drop the power a little bit. I can put it back at 100 so we can see what it would do. Because right now it's sitting at 164 watts. We'll put it back at 100 just so I can see like what wattage right out of the box we're doing. I do that and just drop power right away because it usually doesn't hurt the hash rate. But it saves me power consumption if I were to just like set it up and walk away for a few hours. Or even if I were to like set it up and have to leave right away for work. So I want to like let this run. So this is sitting on, it's on T-Rex right now. And we'll minimize this. So it's been running for a few minutes now, 12 minutes now. Uh, so we'll sit here, we'll let it run. And I, I just kind of want to see what kind of power we're looking at. Uh, 163, 164, not terrible, 37 uh, mega hash a second. Now, like I said, this is the 2070 Super. It's just on this like driver that Windows put on it. So even with 100% power, it looks like we're still sitting at 163, 163, 164 watts. So, I mean, even with me dropping power, not, not too bad. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of see here. So... I'm going to just drop core down as low as I can. And I'm just going to go straight for it. I mean, let's just go for broke here. Not make a huge long video of me benchmarking. Like creeping up and creeping up, which is what I usually do. I'm just going to go straight for 1,000 plus memory. Now, I'm going to give it a couple seconds here because it looks like we're at 163. But I'm going to apply this right now. And one, I want to see what mega hash we get. Now I want to see what kind of power consumption we get. If I were to just say, screw it, we're throwing memory at it. Let's see what we can do. Now, this is an EVGA 2070 Super, like you guys saw in the video when I was on the bench here. Now, the wire rack system that I'm using, I'm using it because uh, you know, frames are very hard to buy right now. And even if I were to buy parts at Home Depot and build my own like I did in the past, this wire rack was a lot cheaper still. So I paid about $23 after tax for this wire rack that I put it on. And, you know, even uh, my custom benches and my test bench, my other six car rig that's on a custom frame, those were still in the $50 range after parts and then you got to remember the time it took me to put it together where that frame was a little bit easier all right so my 42 mega hash a second at 168 watts so let's pull this power down to i was at 80 let's just it can go down to 58 let's just go down to 60 and we'll see what happens here at 60 percent uh i'm expecting a huge power drop uh, and we'll see if my mega hash goes down. So at 130, 43 mega hashes a second now, this this needs to like settle out. Like, this isn't what I'm getting, obviously. We need to let this settle out. And I still have my uh, celebratory beer that I'm drinking right now. Or hard kombucha. I, I used to drink uh, kombucha a lot, but I never had a hard kombucha. And then I got these a few weeks ago, and they're pretty pretty decent. So I've been sticking with them for a little bit, but. Let's let's give this a little bit of time. Down to 129 watts at 43 mega hash a second. So I'm liking it. The efficiency is not too terrible right now. 
So I'm going to let this go for a little bit. And I will mess with the curves in a, in a little while because this one has a curves editor. Now I might try and get it down to 700 millivolts. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, I want to try and get this power down as low as I can. Now, from what I understand, the Curves Editor re really works well in the 20 series cars. You can get it down to 700 to 750 millivolts, hold your mega hash a second, and drop the power significantly. Now, my 2060 that I benchmarked, I have that all the way down to about 80 watts right now doing this. So if we... I mean, I can drop it all the way to 58, and I guess it's not too bad. So I'm going to put it back at 100. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this one. What, what I'm gonna do is select a. I'm gonna select 700. I'm gonna hit L to lock it. I'm gonna apply it. So this pretty much is going to lock my curves editor, so that it's not gonna put any more 700 millivolts to this GPU. But it looks like my hash rate is dropping, even though my watts are dropping significantly. So I'm gonna go up to 750. I want to be at a, around 1020 millivolts. So I might go up to 756, 1020. I'm going to lock it there. What I'm going to do, so I'm at 38 mega hash a second. My, my efficiency is pretty good. I'm going to lock it there. As you guys could see, the 752. I want to be at around 1200 mil, 1020 millivolts. So we'll see. Or mega ha megahertz. So we'll see what happens here because I want to hold my, I mean, 33 watts at 23 mega hash a second. That is ridiculous. That is what my 1060s would have done at three times the power almost. So we'll, we'll see how, how this goes for me. So I have a lock up. That yellow line is because I hit L to lock it. So I'm locking my like uh, millivolts to seven like 52 or what what so so ever so I'm at 1020 megahertz 700 meg on the memory 700 7800 megahertz so it looks like I'm only holding 28 mega hash a second which I want to get up to that 43 up went up to 30 28 so let's see 44 mega hash a second all right so I'm at 44 mega hash a second at 115 watts so even my efficiency went up here so i may lower it just a tiny bit i'm at 44c which i like i, I like the wattage at 115 so i may go down to the 750 and lock it there i'm, I'm not going to apply this so hold on i'm going to wait a few seconds to apply this i want to see what this does i'm at 44 at 114 watts now i want to look at where it's going right now and see if it's like fluctuating 44 mega hash a second of a 2070 super i mean this is i think this is pretty good uh, i'm at 60 trying to get this out because the, the editor doesn't go away but i'm at 45 c which is good I, I like where i'm sitting at as far as my temperature and my temperatures here so I like where I'm sitting. I like the mega hash a second. And the watts, I'm actually pretty happy with. So, I mean, leaving it there, I'm happy with. But if I can just apply this, keep the 44 mega hash a second, and get the, my wattage slightly down to maybe about the 110-ish, I'll be pretty happy with that too, obviously. If I can get my watts down and keep my hash rate, I'm definitely happy. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply 750 millivolts now all i did was click the little square box there you guys see the little square box there and i hit l on my keyboard and that locks it in you'll see the little yellow line it's a little trick that uh mastermind crypto told me so i want to see where this goes i got to give it like a minute or two or i mean probably not that long but we'll see where it goes i don't want to drop too much mega hash if i go down to lower in the 44s i'm okay with that but 43.44 at 113 watts 
Now my, my efficiency went up slightly, which is okay. If my efficiency goes up, that means I'm paying less out of my pocket per kilohash. So the higher your efficiency, you can keep it the better in a sense. Or if you just want to crush it and get as much as you can, put as much power as you can at it and do whatever you can. I'm at 3090, I'm at 43. I actually might go up back to 756 and lock it there because I I'm gonna stick to 44 mega hash a second, but I'm gonna call quits there. I'm gonna uh, say that that's pretty much where I want it to be. I'm gonna close my curve editor. I'm gonna let this mine. Uh, I'll be at about 115 watts. So so we're, yeah, we're sitting at about 44.15 mega hash at 115 watts. So we can do some profitability. My efficiency is slightly better. So I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, but we'll go ahead and I'll do some profitability here and we'll see what I can get. So we're at 44 mega hash a second at 115 watts. And we'll do uh we'll do some Ethereum Classic about the same just to just for just for giggles. So we're looking at I mean, just this one card at 44 mega hash second, 115 watts, $11.82 today. So $11 profit today, just today. And Ethereum Classic, obviously much lower. But I mean, that's just saying how profitable Ethereum is right now. I know the gas fees and everything are much higher these past day or two. So this may sink down a little bit over the next few days, but that's how profitable it is but you know thanks for checking this video out if you guys are running you know 2070 supers let me know what your river clocks are, are. if you're running the uh curves editor let me know what you're doing um but i got mine i think as pretty much low as i can get it right now i just kind of went for broke 44 mega hash a second though i'm happy with 150 15 watts at 45c pretty happy with my results right now but, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.